A man in New York took advantage of an armored truck that wasn't being monitored at the very moment that he walked past it, and he stole something. $1.6 million worth of gold flakes. Hmm. All right, so we have the video for you, uh, courtesy of CNN. Take a quick look. It's messed up. It's just it's no. It's just great. Hilarious. It's great. Love it. So, um, so CNN, great job with the video. Link below. Um, I love that there are guys in the world because he was just walking by. He didn't intend to steal anything that day, but he saw an opportunity for like half of a second. He was walking by. If you notice in the video, he's walking by. He's like, "Oh, look, there's something. I'm taking it." He doesn't know what's in it. He has no he, he idea what's this. in it. <laughs> he's it like, "Oh, it's just, really heavy. <laughs> it's in the back of a truck. I'm taking it." It could be a vat of human shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and but it's in a Brinks truck. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So there's reason to believe that there's something expensive in it. But but still, I mean, the fact that he's risking his you know his life actually, like he could. Be in prison right now right. if he got caught, right? He's risking his life in order to steal something when he doesn't even know what it is. Yeah. And, and the guards who are presumably eating donuts in the front, <laughs> yeah, okay, are armed. He's literally risking his life. It's America. Yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> yeah, so what is he? So the, these gold flakes are flakes that when you make jewelry, they flake off and then they collect them. Yeah. And then they sell those pieces off. So it's mixed with all kinds of other jewelry and you go sell them off. And so they say what this guy might be doing, because I read another report that said they kind of knew who it probably was. And he'd done stuff like this before. But what, and he walked all around and got into like a white van and the white van drove away, is he would find someone who uh, makes jewelry, is willing to buy this for half the price. And this guy just takes like 500 grand in cash and just goes on his way. So, wow. Uh, it, I guess it appeared to him to be a golden opportunity. Ah! Okay. It was. <laughs> Fortune favors the gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it, as Brett explains the whole story, no, nah, there's something fishy here. You don't walk by and be like, oh, look, a bucket. I'll just take it just in case. You think right. So it was premeditated? I it think might that, be premeditated. Some. some uh, Authorities suspect that he might have cased it out before as this being a place where they stop and you get You don't have a white van around the corner if you happen to come by a bucket of gold. It wasn't around the corner. That's the best part is like when you watch the whole video, it's just this guy like, all right, all right, but this is heavy. And he like stops and breathes and he's like, <gasps> that's a heavy thing. And so maybe along the way, he pulled out his phone and called someone to meet him. Because he goes through a big building and comes out. Oh, back. I see. Or he Ubered it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uber, uh... <laughs> well, yeah. So, I look, I, this is total speculation, and I'm not saying they didn't. And I'm sure the cops are, I hope, they're savvy enough to question the guards a little bit. You got you left it wide open there, and a guy happens to come by and grab a <laughs> $1.6 million bucket. Yeah, I mean, he's not a leprechaun. <laughs> I wonder, he didn't no, find I, a bucket of gold at the end of the rainbow. I, I don't <laughs> think I don't think that the dude. Well, maybe if they were in on it, they would profit from him selling it. And, sure. Because I was going to sure. say, you know, they're going to they're going to get fired no matter what. But you wonder if they let the Brinks drivers or whatever the armored vehicle drivers know what they're transporting all the time. Because then you know it's just like. You know, look after it. Maybe today they're like, "Oh, it's Bucket Day. What could be in Bucket Day?" <laughs> I'm just gonna take an extra cigarette. <laughs> I feel like being a thief and and this type of criminal must be like one of the most nerve-wracking things because, 
it's not worth it for me, right? It's not worth it to to have like a weird surveillance video of me floating around the internet, um, because so I can have like 1.6 million dollars of gold flakes. Don't get me wrong, I would love 1.6 million dollars worth of anything. Just to throw up in right. the air. But but I you know I'd rather live a modest lifestyle and not be on the edge constantly. I mean he must be on the edge. If he's not, he's not human. Uh, yeah, no, I hear you, Anna. But there's a lot of people who are like 1.6 million dollars. I mean, what wouldn't I do? Yeah, I, I, yeah. This might be on a lot of people's wreck. bucket list. Nice. You want the same old mainstream media stuff? Hell no. I hear you, brother. That's why we got a whole new show on the Young Turks called Aggressive Progressive. Members get the whole show. Do it now. Tytnetwork.com/slash/join.